Almost any video game series or TV show is going to release some merchandise with the release of the main product. Whether that be t-shirts, backpacks, plushies, you name it, they will have it. And they're just trying to make more money off their original product. I mean, I got a whole wall of survivor buffs, but that's besides the point. Skanders is no different. Skanders had a whole lot of things that was made during the games that weren't just the Skanders figures. And we're going over some of those things today. When I looked at some of the merchandise for this video, I couldn't believe some of the stuff I found and how much I found, honestly. They really did milk this series dry, but that's just how it is. Let's take a look at some Skylanders merchandise. Let's get the obvious out of the way. Just some real quick stuff. Yes, they made Skylanders pencils. Some even came with cool erasers to attach on top. And if you're in any grade above fourth grade, I would advise not to bring these to school as to not get bullied. Interested in some more school supplies? Well, like I said, there is a lot of Skyners backpacks out there. there. There is a lot of Skyners backpacks. They made a bunch of these guys. I mean, seriously, how many backpacks does one person need? It's like they made a backpack for all 12 years of school. Now, I'm going to be honest, in first grade, you know I was rocking the Skyners Giants backpack every single day at school. It was only the newest and latest kids game at the time. I tried to find my old backpack for this video, and I just, I could not find it anywhere. I probably sold it, but maybe I'll just buy another backpack again one day. I don't know. Oh, you really want to be the cool kid at school. Alright, well, you got Skyners pencils and a backpack. Well, let me introduce you to the Skyners notebook. That's right. Take your notes in this. You're bound to be the most popular kid at school. Look, I know they're making these things for like little kids, but they still existed. So there's a potential that it could have been, you know, used by a 12th grader or something, which I, I kind of find funny. What? Pencils, backpacks, and journals are enough for you? Well, how about some Skanders markers? Crayola and Skanders did a collaboration, and now you can get Skanders markers with a coloring book. Interesting. Why not just add Skanders crayons, except they already did because Skanders crayons exist and there was a color book for them as well. I mean, how much better could it get? Well, I'm here to inform you that it can get much better. If you're in third grade and you want to ask your crush up, but he just don't know how to do it, boom, Skanders Valentine's Day cards. Give them this and they will 100% say yes. Good job, you've done it. Note, this is a joke. P please don't do this, I, I beg you. So you're too classy for a pencil. How about a Skanders pen? If you need to store your food, Skanders is also ready to give you the Skanders lunchbox. Now I get to look at a picture of Skanders and eat at the same time. It's all I need, right? Has school gotten you down? You just want to know how much hours you have left of it? Well, I present you the Skanders watch. You can tell the time and the Skanders on it. How amazing. But that's about it for the school supplies. Uh, there might be a couple more out there, at least. I mean, there is more out there. I can guarantee you there are more floating out there. I tried to look up Skanders scissors, but all I got was shortcut. And then I looked up some Skanders schools, just Skanders school. I looked that up and Google to show me pictures of the Skanders Academy. So no doubt there are more Skanders school supplies out there, but that's just really all the time for Skanders school supplies. This is Skanders merge video, not a Skanders school supplies video, but there is a lot of Skanders school stuff out there. But if you wanted to be a trendy third grader in 2013, then you were lucky because Skanders had your back and they were ready to pile you in that Skanders school supplies. But stepping away from school, what if you needed a case to hold all your Skanders? Well, first of all, you're doing it wrong. You need a Skanders shelf. But if you really need a bag of Skanders, well, they can hook you up. They had a bunch of Skanders carrying cases. Much like a bunch of people, I had the original SSA carrying case. It, it was great. I mean, I was bringing Skanders from my house to my friend's house. It's great. It's a win-win. You know, your friend can bring Skanders to your house that you don't have. They had multiple of these carrying cases also, so even people with the biggest Skanders collections could transport the Skanders. I bet a lot of you had these, and like I just said, I had the original SSA one. My friends had bigger ones because they thought they were better than me, but look at me now. I bet they're jealous now with my immaculate Skanders shelf. Something that you may have seen a lot in stores besides Skanders school supplies were Skanders plushies. I had the trigger happy one somewhere, and again, I can't be bothered to find it, but I know there's also spiral, gill grunt, trigger happy, and eruptor ones as well. And there's also a really big tree rex plush. And also, what's up with the tree rex plush? It looks so cursed. Just looking at it, it gives me an uneasy feeling. I couldn't imagine being the kid that has this in his room and it just has to look at it every night in bed when it's just staring at it. I mean, that, that's just a creepy looking plushie. I don't know why anyone would buy the Tree Rex plushie. I know that you Skanders fans got at least one of these. I mean, how could you not? It's a Skanders plush. Isn't that like the best thing ever? 
And speaking of cursed, oh boy, have you seen the Skander's Halloween costumes? Much like the plushies, I also had the trigger happy one and I actually know where it's at in my house, so I just don't want to get it. I don't know why people thought these costumes look good, they don't. They even look creepy and uncanny in some instances. And I did wear the trigger happy costume to one Halloween, like I mentioned, and I don't know why no one made fun of me. That It's such a weird looking costume. I mean, they had every right to make fun of me. They could have at least tried to make these costumes look semi-good, but nope, like most small kid Halloween costumes, they're trash. I don't know if you would necessarily call these merchandise, but from Skyner's Giants to Skyner's Superchargers, every time a Skyner's game came out, there was also McDonald's toys and the Happy Meals. I used to go to McDonald's all the time when I was a little kid, and I never got any of these, except the Free Ranger one. Maybe I was just always at the wrong McDonald's at the wrong time. But I was still a big Skyners fan back then, so I probably should have gotten more. It's probably because I just didn't know they existed, honestly. But if I knew they existed, uh, it would have been epic. I probably would still have all the toys, by the way, which is kind of sad since certain McDonald's Happy Meals toys. But it's different. It's Skylanders. I even found this ad in the background that you see for the video for the Happy Meals. It's actually kind of hard to find these since they were just commercials. You could maybe even call it Skylanders Lost Media. But yeah, the ads were pretty cool most of the time. I knew they existed. Probably I just forgot about them. There's no way I could make this video without talking about all the Skander's clothes. There were Skander's pajamas, Skander's shirts, Skander's swim shorts, what the heck? I mean, Activision really wanted you to show your Skander's pride by giving you all the shirts to wear every single day. And I know that I had some of these. I keep saying that I know I had some Skander's merch and that I sold it. Uh, I don't know why that is. I love Skylanders. Why? I mean, I need to find this stuff eventually because it'd be great to have it all. You know, if you want to play with Skylanders on the worst console, that's right, the Wii. Yes, I did say the Wii is the worst console to play Skylanders on Fight Me. You can get the Skylanders Wii Remote. They had a blue and orange one for Giants and a dark blue and green one for Swap Force. And we even got Skylanders Xbox 360's controllers too. But speaking of controllers and or remotes, there was also remote control cars released during Superchargers. There are only two of these though. One with Fiesta's vehicle, the Crypt Crusher. <laughs> And one was Spitfire's vehicle, Hot Streak. Never really got my hands on these. To be honest, I've never really been that much into RC cars. But, hey, if you liked RC cars and these were the perfect thing for you, you get an RC car and a Skander. How cool. Although, I am pretty sure that these RC cars were only meant for indoors. And they don't look like they can really handle anything outside. So, there's that. But if I found these in the store nowadays, I might pick it up. But that's only just because it's Skanders related. I don't know if this one counts, but let's talk about it anyway. Skylanders Mega Blocks. Boy, were there a bunch of Skylanders Mega Blocks. In every Toys R Us, Windows in America, they had Skylanders Mega Blocks all over the shelves. And with all of that, I still never bought a Skylanders Mega Block set. Except I did. Boom. Tree Rex. That's right. I got the Skylanders Mega Blocks. You really think I didn't? Although, this is really the only thing I could find that was left in my closet. Uh, was Trirex, but what a better character to have than Trirex, right? These Mega Box things, like I said, were everywhere, and it honestly be kind of weird if you didn't get them, especially if you were little at the time, because these things were flying off the shelves from what I've heard, so yeah. So, judging by me having the Trirex Mega Block character, probably means I got the Troll Mech Ambush Block set, and now looking at it, I do think I remember making that one, so that's pretty cool. Skylanders also had a lot of books. One big book series they had was the Mask of Power books, which I believe had nine books in total. One book that started off and then eight books that had one Skylander from each element on it. I actually do indeed have one of the books. It's the Mask of Power Lightning Rod Faces the Cyclops Queen book. And from what I remember, I liked the book. I might read it again one day, but as nowadays I am not really a reader. I don't read at all actually really. But I might read it one day again, because it's Skylanders. But I would be more inclined to read a comic book. And guess what? Skylanders had comic books too. And I think there was around 30 of them. Boom, 30 books to read. There were some comic books that even came with legendary traps too. For comic book lovers, these are probably for you. And some of them seem to have interesting stories as well. Let's get into a bunch of random Skylanders merchandise that you could pick up from stores. We have a Skylanders portal holder, I, I guess, I mean, cool. 
Still can't believe this one's a thing, but Skylanders Monopoly. Yes, you can play Monopoly, but they're Skylanders. And also the board pieces are really great looking. Speaking of board games, there is also a board game called Skylanders Island Quest. And I have no idea what it is and how it works, and I don't care to. You could also pick up some Skystones if you bought some cereals in like 2014, I think. This one, I even flex on you guys with uh, in a community post one time. I do indeed have the Skylander Skystones. The cereal company was very nice and even gave you a cut of the Skystones board and you could play it on it. You want to beat up the school bullies so they never mess with you again? Well, Skylanders has your back with the Tree Rex Fists. You can beat up your school bully and they'll never mess with you again because of your dominance shown with your Skylanders Tree Rex Fists. Honestly, I don't know really what these were made for. I know there was like Hulk Fists released too, but like really, what are you going to do with a bunch of just two Tree Rex Fists? It doesn't make any sense at all. There's also some Skylanders cups as well, I guess maybe for birthday parties, and speaking of which, there's also a lot, a lot of Skylanders birthday party stuff released, like napkins, plates. I am pretty sure I had a Skylanders birthday party at one point in my life, I, I remember that. So, again, if you're a little kid, it makes sense. You get a Skylanders birthday party, which is pretty awesome. And I have to mention the custom Skylanders you could order. I am so upset I never did this. I should have done this. I'm so mad at myself, but you could get a 3D print of your own Skylanders Imaginator, you could also get a card, that a playable card that comes with it, and also a t-shirt as well to wear. All very cool, but having a 3D figure is amazing. That's so awesome, and that's some really cool Skylanders merch to have. That's about all the Skylanders merch I could find. And let me tell you, there is way more Skylanders merch than I listed in this video. There is some really probably obscure stuff, like Skylanders slap wrists. I, I think those were a thing too. A lot of them is probably just lost media though, just because of how obscure it is. When a company makes a property, they are going to release a bunch of merch for it, like I said. So there's probably a lot of lost Skylanders merch out there. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed looking at some Skylanders merch that was made during the release of the games. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and thank you guys for watching.